Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Machine Expert HVAC. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see are the conversion functions that we have in the software. So, let's go to the presentation. So, before going to the conversions, I believe it's much better to start with uh, one specific function that we have, which is the move, that allows us basically to move one value for a variable to another variable okay um let me just put the pen so in the previous version of the software before the version 1.5 we have these operators and blocks in a different window now we have it everything on the library tree so if we go to library tree selection of the operators and blocks if we go to miscellaneous we should be able to see this move and we just drag and drop it into our code in order to use it now depend on the view okay or the language that we have we have different visualization of this block so if we're using ladder okay we can see this block you can see that we have the input and the output so the value that we put over here the variable or the value is a constant you just go to the other one i'm moving and you can see here the icon for the function block diagram is exactly the same we just change instead of the ladder contact and coil we just use functions blocks there so here you can see if i have the standard block or the one with enabled input and enabled output and here you can see the code the syntax now if you're using a structured text then you just need to move from this value to this one. It's an assignation. So this icon over here that we can see is the one that we use for the structure test. And it's something important here is that we must end the syntax with a semicolon here. Okay. We must end the line with this. So from ladder and FPD, we move the value from left to right because it's how the code is executed. In a structured text, we just need to use this icon, this syntax, okay? And remember that the value here is the final destination. I'm moving the value from here to here, okay? That's the important thing. Now that we know this, it's important to know these conversions that we have. So again, inside the operators and blocks, we have the folder conversion. And inside we have different conversions. So the idea here is it doesn't matter what you have the original data type okay you just need to know the final destination this is going to be to the value you can see every time with two underscore the final value that you want to be converted so if we have a, a word variable and i need to convert that to real okay convert to real the function block that i need to use is to real okay because it's the final destination now how does it looks like so similar to the move we just drag and drop it into our code we can see to real here we have the enabled input and output and here you have the input variable in my case i use i bar for in integer and r bar for real value okay you can see I'm moving this value here to here now for the FBD is similar, it's exactly the same as the ladder, but you have the possibility to use enable input and output. Okay, it's it's the same. Just need to make sure that the value here int okay is going to be converted to real because it's the one that I have. The same from here is an int. Okay, and I'm going to convert it to real. Okay. And that is important because later when we are seeing uh, for example uh, arithmetics when we do the calculation we need to use the same data type okay and that is important to know the conversions now for the um structure text okay here you can see that when i type or drag and drop the function into the code it changed the color okay and we need to use the brackets the parentheses so inside is going to be our um uh, initial value okay this case here for example should be the input 
okay and go into the output and then i need the assignation okay you can see this is the input part and then it's going to be the uh the output with the assignation okay which will be the move and remember to end the line with the semicolon so this is basically the idea so uh let's create a few PUs. already one PUU for ladder so if we go to library three operators and block uh we have the miscellaneous move Okay, we can move over there and then if I want the conversion I can drag and drop it okay so here we just I don't know create a variable the bar one int int change that drag and drop everything here and then I'm going to create another variable R bar three. It's going to be real, okay? And I can drag and drop it over here. So this is one simple thing that you can do. Um, and it's important to know the conversion because it will allow you to make mathematical expressions later, and it's important to use the same that type in all of them. So this is for ladder for um, FPD. It's gonna be similar. Okay, I'm going to spoil it. Okay, this is for another um, video. But um, the real, okay, if you drag, right click over here to just be able to see this, enable input and output in case you want, for example, have a condition and then execute the conversion. Uh, but it's going to be the same drag and drop and you have it uh, what is important is to show you this is for another thing also so I just want to copy these three variables over here so I can show you this uh, over here so if I want to move convert uh, or move I bar so I'm doing the comment moving value from bar one or I bar one to I bar two. What we need to do is to first put the destination variable I bar two colon equal. We can drag and drop also. And then this. this is going to be fine now if you want to make the conversion you can for example i bar equal here you can drag and drop to real okay uh, for example i bar one oops i bar one okay and we close this so this is what I meant. So each line ends with the semicolon and then the assignation is the colon equal. It's something important that we need to we need to check. And I don't know if it's gonna have some kind of error when I do the, uh, the compile because I don't know in which point I open, but you can see there is no error. So the syntax is fine and everything's working fine. Um, so basically the idea for you in this case is to recognize the conversion and how to use in different uh, things that we have uh, with temperature and convert the value to real okay something I didn't do okay let's go so in this particular case uh, let me see I think I have the PLC connected uh, and I'm going to simulate uh, let's go to connect with the controller so Target variables and I input. I got the feeling that I have the I got something connecting the analog input. Uh, so the communication properties, yeah, it's connected. You 
can see, you know, you cannot see but I'm connected. Um, yeah, I have something connected here or not? No? Because... Because... Uh, like this or I feel that I have something connected just check no I have something connected in the analog input tree I need to check which is the actual yeah it's not right um this uh, NTC Or it should be an empty seat. Maybe it is connected. Yeah, it's disconnected. Mm, Jesus. Okay. Uh, I have something else connected here. So, mm, the idea is this. When you. Now I know why I put this. So, the idea of reading the temperature of the analog input is if you're using the NTC, um, the way you're going to see the temperature is no with the comma in the outer point. So imagine that the room has uh, 22.5 uh, temperature, so 22.5 centigrade. So the PLC is going to read 225. Okay. So if you want to convert this to real, probably what you need to do is to convert to real. Okay. And then divide it by 10. So once you divide it by 10, you could get the 22.5. Okay, this is what I want to show you. So I'm going to trick it because I thought I have something connected. And I just don't know what do I have in there. I need to check that. Um, that happens when you don't prepare the things properly. But so. Let's imagine now, let's add I temperature. Okay, this is going to be an integer because the analog input are integer. Now, if I want to use, for example, the R temperature real, okay, in my software, what I need to do is to let's just drag and drop this equal. Here, I need to convert this to real. And then here, divide this by 10.0. And then let's just download this piece of code. And then we should be able to, to see what I want to show you. So, let's go to watch. Ah, there was something connected into the other code. Okay. So, in this case, now you can see it. Uh, let me see if I can add this here. It wasn't the first one, it's not in the other one. So, let's go like this. When I would do uh, inputs. So the other problem is that I don't know where is the probe, the sensor located, probably it's too far away. I'm going to try to touch it, it's far, so you probably don't see me. Maybe press this image. Okay. The idea is that you use this directly in the code. I don't think I can. Can be able to do see do it like this. No. 
See, nope. So we need to declare the variable. Ah, it was already defined it. Good. I did prepare the things, but I forget. So this variable is already here in the air mapping. I temperature download. Okay, brilliant. Now let's go. So you can see here that I am reading this, and this is the real value. So if I want the uh, decimal point there, just gonna be good. So I'm gonna try to touch the uh, sensor. So let's just go for it. This one, yes, it's increasing. You can see it's increasing the temperature. Touch it, and it's change it. Okay, so. Um, in there you can see how it works how important it is to have the conversion here in order to to work um so two important things prepare the things don't forget that you have something connected but uh, that's the main idea so remember if you're using instructor test to use the assignation make sure for to convert everything on the same data type that you have that's why i'm using to real in this case and I'm using also the point because it's real um let me see if i forget about something simulate behavior well, in this case i connect directly to the controller read temperature and convert to the value to real and i show you why i divided by 10 so i have the decimal point so i believe i don't forget about anything else so which is good so um this is it for how to assign a variable a value to another variable from a variable and then how to make the conversion of a variable to another data type so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one